All right. Well, welcome everybody, and uh, happy Sunday morning to you, and uh, happy Valentine's Day. Yeah. Feliz domingo por la mañana y feliz día de San Valentín. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Bienvenidos a a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Also, we want to welcome all of you, all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive. God has blessings for you every day. He knows from the time you wake up, that's your first miracle because you open your eyes and you answer the call. And if you answer the call, you're going to do what he's asked you to do. Amen. Amen. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens us. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. And he's got something for you. Don't ever say he never has anything for me and you never open your Bible. Don't ever say he has nothing for you and you never spend time with him. That's right. Amen. We was talking about uh, a scripture breaks. We were talking about taking breaks. Every, all of us takes all kinds of breaks and never take any break to spend time with him. Yes. Amen. So anyway, on Facebook, I I, uh, I put this there. I think it was yesterday. I uh, I put this there. So anyways, in scripture break, it says, Winners, you have been set apart and chosen for his purpose. Yeah. You've been set apart. He's chosen you. Yes, he has. But, it's not so, but it is so easy to go with the flow. It's easy to take the path of list, list resistance. Yes. God hasn't called you to go with the flow. That's right. Be prepared to press through every daily challenge. He will lead and guide you. His grace is sufficient so that even impossible things are possible. You are called, you are chosen. You're equipped. You are set apart. You are a winner. You are approved of God. So don't need to be approved by the world. You don't need the world's approval. You can do all things through Him. Press on, child of God. Step out in faith and have a winning attitude. Amen. Right. Right. And we're going to continue with attitude. I guess you could say right. attitude part two. Amen. Right. But we're going to talk about attitude because we all have one. And those of you that are watching, you can see this. Those of you that are listening, I'm going to show you right now that I have an attitude. <laughs> I've got an attitude. Yeah. You know, some of us walk around with an attitude. And lots of times, it's not a good attitude. Right. It's negative attitude. Yeah. Bad attitude. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And these things make you or break you. Yeah. Okay? Right. It all depends on how far you go uh -huh. because of your attitude. And I've got some good slides for you. And I want you to really take notes. Okay. But I have got an attitude. Okay? Oh. <laughs> Before I get too far here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, this is my <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want me to help you read it? Yes. This is my Bible. Yes. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'm not talking to the Lord God. I have only confessed my mind and serve. My spirit is accepted. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. John 3 16 says yes well happy Valentine's to all of you that are watching all of you that are, that, that are listening and this is what it says for God so loved the world that he gave he yes. gave his only his one and only that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life, eternal life. amen yes. this is one of our our, our Key scriptures. Key scriptures we're going to use. Amen. Amen. So get yourselves ready. So praise God. Amen. Happy Valentine's to all. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And we're going to be talking about uh, 
Here we go. <laughs> Guess what? I've got attitude. an attitude. Good or bad, still, is your choice. Yes. Right. You choose. Amen? Good or bad is no one else but your choice. Keep going. So I've got the attitude. You see that? That's nice, huh? The only disability in life is a bad attitude. Yes. Amen? Hey, things may be bad out there. You know, when uh, David saw uh, Goliath, <laughs> instead of having a bad attitude and, and saying, well, you know, hey, I'm just going to go back. He says, no. <laughs> he pressed on. Yes, he, 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 he had a winning attitude. Yes. He changed that. He chose the winning attitude and not a losing attitude. Right. Keep going. I've got a few of these that are really going to bless you. <laughs> so here we go. I don't need your attitude. Why? Because I have my own. <laughs> I have my own, okay? So <laughs> I don't want yours. <laughs> Keep going. This is, these are good. So here what, what we need when you get before him and you get up. Lord, it says you need an attitude adjustment. Go yeah. to the next one. Oh, gosh. This one right here. <laughs> Help me, Lord. Amen. I need an attitude adjustment. Yes. Yes. So you know what? Remember, we've talked about this before, but you are a tribe being. You have a spirit. You have a soul, mind, will, yes. emotions, and you live in a body. Amen. And a lot of times we start with the body, uh -huh. <laughs> and the body wants to say, I don't want to do anything. Right. I want to be lazy. I don't want to do anything. I just want to sit. I want to lay. I don't want to do nothing. That's it. But then your spirit and your mind says, mm -hmm. you know, we got to get up and we got to do it for the Lord. That's right, man. And body says, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to feed yes. our spirit the word of God. We have yes, to renew our mind yes. with the word of God. Right, and the flesh has to move. Yes. <laughs> and the flesh has to move. Amen. Yes. So praise God. And he'll give us an attitude adjustment yes. when we spend time with him. Yes. Okay, body, get up. It's time to get up. Right. And spend time with him. Amen. Lord, I need an attitude adjustment. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes, I have an adjustment, but it's not a good adjustment. Yes. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. Right. I don't want to do anything. anything. I just want to stay here and do nothing. Yeah. Lord, I need an attitude adjustment. Mm -hmm. Just think about all the Bible heroes yes. <laughs> that had bad attitudes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Moses says, no, I don't want to go. I say, I'm not good enough. God says, you're good enough. And yeah. I, pe right. I picked you. Yes. He's telling you the same thing. Yeah. I picked you. And okay. you keep saying, no, no, I'm not good enough. Uh, the world says, I'm not good enough. The family says, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. Friends say, you're no good. You're no good. Amen. Mm -hmm. But God says, yeah. Amen. I picked you. That's right. Yes. I called you. I chose yes. you. I equipped you. That's right. And you can do all things through That's Christ. It. That's our main text. Yeah. Amen. So <laughs> think of all the Bible heroes. Mm -hmm. Amen. All of them. You know Jonah? He says, I ain't going to Nineveh. <laughs> I'm going somewhere else. But I ends up in the in, in the belly of a of a big fish. Yeah. And many, 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 you can see their attitudes was wrong at first. Yeah. Amen. He told him Naz, go pray. Yeah. <laughs> he says, uh, uh no. Go in the hands of Saul. Saul was killing uh, Christians. Yes, he was. <laughs> he said, go pray for him. Yeah. Uh, uh no. Mm -hmm. He had a bad attitude. Yes, he, he said, did. well, I I'll do it. Mm -hmm. I said, well, good. He changed his attitude. We yes, need to change did. our attitude. Yeah, right. Amen. If you got a bad attitude, remember we, we we're going to talk about this, but just like a, a flat tire. Don't go anywhere with a bad attitude. Change it before you go anywhere. Right. Nobody right. needs that. That's Amen. Right. If you're going to leave right. something, leave something good, right. leave yeah. the word. Yeah. Yeah. And let them know, be kind. Yeah. You know, God loves you. Jesus loves you. Amen. Yeah. Man, hallelujah. Yes. So we're just going to go over some uh, some old things before we get into <laughs> the word. Amen. Go ahead. Attitude. What's our attitude? When you spend time with him. Yes. This is our attitude should be. Yes. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. He's called to you. You're a warrior. Yeah. Amen. You're a soldier for God. You're in yeah. God's army, whether you know it or not. Yeah. But you know, if I'm a soldier for Jesus, you know, hey, I know I can go and do yeah. what he's called me to do. Right. I can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. And if you need strength, you spend time with him. Yes. Amen. And when you step out, you step out in faith and yeah. not fear. 
For we walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. So, you know, the more of him you get, the less uh, fear you have. Get the fear out of you. Amen. And start walking in faith. Praise God. I'm happy. I don't know about you. <laughs> so, an attitude. What attitude you choose. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13. If you ain't ever gone there before, go in there and read it. And yes. study it. Amen. Go look at different translations. See what they yeah. say. Keep going. Attitude. We talked about this. Oh, gosh. Let me see what it says. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Yes. Amen. You know, uh, when David went to face uh, Goliath, uh -huh. he's a big thing. Yeah. And they looked at David. David's a little guy. Yeah. Amen. But still, <laughs> makes a big difference yes, because the little guy had a big Man. attitude. He had a winning attitude. Yes. And he was going to go against a big giant. Yes. And still, when you have him in you, Amen. you can do all, all, things. Amen. all things. Amen. Amen. So praise God. That's that's what we need to do. Yes. You see yourself a giant in him. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. Attitude Amen. is a little thing that makes a big difference. Yes, it does. You know, it's going to make a big difference if you're going to win or lose. Don't blame nobody else. That's right. Hey, I'm going to be on the winning team. I want to be on God's team. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. I don't know about you. <laughs> I've got one of these on my, on, my, on my desk. It says, attitude. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. I got it all. I, 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 I've got it where I can see it. I, I, I say it so I can hear it. Yeah. And we need to do those things. You know, a lot of times we go around saying negative things and we're saying it. And then we're hearing it, and it, and 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 it comes to bloom. You know, yeah, it, it, it just grows. Whatever you sow, it's going to grow. Yes. And you're sowing negative things, so it's going to come, uh -huh. and it's just going to overtake you. Right. So why not say positive things? Yes. Why not say the right things? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. And that's one of our texts. In a few minutes, I'll take you to another one. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. And this is some of the things that we uh, opened up with last week. But it says attitude is more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than what people do or say. It is more important than appearance, uh, giftness, or skill. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Wrong attitude. Here it is, like a flat tire. And we've got it up here too. You can't go anywhere without changing it. That's it. <laughs> Don't right. wait for somebody to tell you. <laughs> Amen. You know you do a uh, you do a a, a, a a Christ check before you go anywhere. Yeah. And, and if it's not <laughs> if it's not goodness, just change it. Yeah. You know, a lot of times you hear people talking about Jesus, and Jesus was just there, and he never said a thing. That's right. You ever think about that? Does Jesus have a bad attitude? Mm -hmm. What kind of attitude did Jesus have? Mm -hmm. You know, he said he was born of a human being. Amen. Yeah, he was perfect. He never sinned, but still, he was he was he was a, a human being. Yes. Amen. And a lot of times when he was weak, he said he went to talk to the Father. Yes, Lord, I need is. your strength. Yeah, I need you, I need your help. Yeah. I, I can't complete this mission without you. Yeah. What about us? <laughs> we need to do the same thing. Right. You know. Well, I can't do it. But you know what, Lord, I need, and He'll show you. He'll guide you. Yeah. Amen. That's what the Word of God says. Yeah. If Jesus did it, so can us. And He showed us. He He, he showed us. He, he's our uh, um, imitator. I'm not an imitator. He's our. Uh, oh, never mind. Anyway, He showed us so we could follow. Amen. Amen. And we need to follow what He did. Amen. So praise God. Here we go. A yeah. bad attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it. You gotta get you get you gotta move. You know, hey, I love driving, but uh, if I have flat tires, I can't go anywhere. Yeah. So you know what? If you got a bad attitude, don't go anywhere because nobody needs your bad attitude. So I just put attitude. But guess what? I got a good attitude. <laughs> Amen. And you know what? Some people are, are are mad, get mad because you have a good attitude all the time. Amen. All the time. Why are you always happy? You make people get ticked off, you know, because you're always happy. Right. But you know what? That's okay. I'm good. If I got to tell you every time, I will. It says, it's because Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> because I love Jesus. Right. Amen. 
Yeah, God, I've got Jesus in my life, and that's what you need. Yeah. Yeah. But they're not ready. Yeah. But the time is now. Yeah. Yeah. Now is the time for you to be ready. Right. Imitate it. Uh, excuse me. Go ahead. Uh, your attitude, not your aptitude, will determine your altitude. So it's not about your ability. It's about your attitude that's going to take you. Amen. It determines your altitude. Are you going to climb with him? Are you going to soar with him like e as an eagle? Or are you going to, you know, stay low and just live and, and scratch with the chickens or, yeah. or the pigs, you know? Yeah. That's up to you. But don't blame him. Amen. And he wants you to climb up and go up yeah. and do more and more, yeah. you know? And we control that. Yeah. Amen. We control. Remember that the enemy attacks the mind. Mm -hmm. And we have to renew our minds. That's, a, that's a, one of our next uh, scriptures. Mm -hmm. So keep going. We got a whole bunch of these. <laughs> Here we go. Says, our most powerful weapon is our voice or our words. Right. Right. Says, death life by the power of your words. Uh -huh. Death life by the power of your tongue. Mm -hmm. We need to grow up. We need to uh, learn this. Because if we never learn, we got to keep ourselves down yeah. instead of up amen and stop and change our most powerful weapon is our voice our words what we speak can give life or death in situations yes. and hope in circumstances and attitudes we want to change yeah. <laughs> if you want to change something you know change your attitude yeah man yeah. but you have to do it for yeah. yourself right. you know yeah. You know, you can't have a bad attitude and say, you know what, have a good attitude for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to speak to me. Mm -hmm. Amen. And you look in the mirror, that's, that's your biggest problem. I've got to change you. I've got to change my attitude, right. the way I see things. Right. Amen. I've got to talk to me. And I've got to speak to me. Amen. So, yes, attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Attitude uh, will limit you how far you can go. Mm -hmm. Bad attitude is like the flat tire. You can't go anywhere without changing it. And having a winning attitude is just like our Bible heroes. Yeah. And that's what yeah. Jesus did. He had a winning attitude yeah. and he yeah. passed it on to us and for us to grab. And we got to grab it and go with it. Amen. Yeah. We just can't say, well, if Jesus open your Bibles to Philippians also. Um, let's go 413 first. That's one of our texts. Philippians chapter 4. And it, just hold it there because we're going in verse 8 also. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 13 says what? I can do all, can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is I. That's you. So you got to change that. And put your name there. Yeah. Okay. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the Amplified says, I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. Yeah. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who influences inner strength into me. Uh -huh. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Yes. Ooh, hallelujah. Man, uh -huh. I stay connected to the source. Mm -hmm. I stay connected to the to the yes. to the to the power. Yes. He is my power. Yes, Amen. Yes. But you know what? He told the disciples to go. Mm -hmm. And and, and, and we have to stay connected because we have the power yeah. and we got to take that authority amen yeah, and right. you know what you do is you take the authority you got to speak it out yeah you can't hold it in and say nothing that's right you are not a mute <laughs> mm -hmm. amen. amen praise god you got to speak it out and get it out yes oh i know what to say but i'm not going to say it mm. no speak it out now back up a little bit on verse eight yes verse eight says what finally, <laughs> finally says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So you know what? I've got to, in a few minutes we're going to talk about, I've got to go and clean my mind. Yes. Because the enemy attacks the mind. And a lot of times, if it's in your mind and you don't renew uh -huh. your mind, uh -huh. you're going to speak it out or yeah. you're going to do it. Yeah. So watch your words and watch yeah. your actions. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Let me read it to you from the Amplified. Okay, let me read it to you from the Amplified. It says, For the rest, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is worthy, whatever of reverence, 
and is honorable and seemingly whatever is just whatever is pure whatever is lovely and, and lovable whatever is kind and winsome and, gra and gracious if there is any virtue and excellence if there is anything worthy of praise yes. think on and weigh and take account of these yes. things fix your mind yes. on them uh -huh. amen fix your mind on them and what are we supposed to do with the mind we're supposed yeah, to renew. renew. If you go, you can open to uh, Romans. Go to Romans uh, chapter 2. I mean, verse 12 and verse 2. We're, we're close. Just back it up a little bit. Romans what now? Romans 12, 2. 12, 2. Romans 12, 2 says that be not conformed to this world, but what? Be ye transformed by what? Renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is good and excellent Yes. And perfect will of God. Yes. Amen. So we need to get our minds straight. Yes, we do. Why? Because the enemy attacks mm -hmm. the mind. Yes. He puts thoughts there. He yes. brings people, uses people, and they tell you things. Yes. Amen. And you receive it. And you get it in your mind. Mm -hmm. And if you don't do anything about renewing your mind, you're either going to do it <laughs> or you're going to say it. Yeah. Amen. So you got you have to be careful. Renew your mind and do what the word of God tells you to do. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Remember that the battlefield is the mind. the mind. Amen. And we have to renew it. Feed our spirit the word of God. Feed our minds. Renew our minds with the word of God. And crucify the flesh. Because <laughs> the flesh wants to do nada. <laughs> Just wants to sit and do nothing. Amen. So we have to do those things. All believers should be know this about our greatest hero, and that's Jesus. Yes. Is he had a winning attitude. Yes, he did. And if he had a winning attitude, so can we. We can yeah. copy what yeah. he did. Yeah. He was perfect. He's our example. So we can ease our example. Yeah. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Whoo! So let's go from there and let's start. Having a winning attitude is forgetting the past, forgetting your defeats. Forgetting yeah. your setbacks. You know, a lot of us are still in the past. Yeah. A lot of us are still thinking about our defeats. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are just hanging back. Double. And the enemy is using this yes. You're by bringing friends, by bringing people around you mm -hmm. and reminding you of all your setbacks. Yeah. You know what? It's all right. That was uh, a graduation now. That is for us to move and not yes. to stay in there, you know. Yes, yes. And, okay, it's time to press to press on. It's time yes. to get up, yes. dust yourself, and let's get going with God. Yes. Okay, right. He didn't He didn't tell you to stop. No. We stopped ourselves. Right. Amen. And we 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 need to stop that and mm -hmm. and move on with Him. Yes. We do. Now now it says uh, keep going, press on with Him. Praise God. Amen. So. Um, Genesis 126 says what? He says that man was created to be a winner. Mm -hmm. And God's Jesus, well, God says, let us make man in our image. Yeah. Amen. And we're to be imitators of him. Of him. Yeah. But he made us to be winners. Yeah. So we're to take authority yeah. and use his word and speak it. Amen. So if 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 he if Jesus had a winning attitude, so can we. Yeah. Great reasons to have a winning attitude. God guarantees our success. His word says that we are more than conquerors. Amen. We are overcomers right. in him. And you have overcome, if you can come, overcome any problem in the world through this, by being overcomers. Amen. God is bigger than any mountain, any problems, any uh, cares, and any setbacks. So praise God. Attitudes, not circumstances, uh, make the difference of those who overcome tough situations. Amen. Amen. I can do Amen. all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. We are winners when we choose to develop an attitude that releases the power of God instead of one that keeps us from uh, confined to fear and failure. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. He's giving us a spirit of power, love, and of a sound mind. Yeah. But you know, we, we, we keep ourselves mm -hmm. in, in, in the wrong. We keep, by the words we speak, our words, our actions, we got to be careful. Right. So we got to do what he's called us to do. Yes. Amen. And not keep yeah. ourselves in the, in the wrong Right. And have the wrong attitude and the bad attitude, but have the right winning attitude. So step yeah. out, get out of your box, give it all. We have God's instructions of winning, yes, and that's is. His word. You yeah. know, 
We teach from the Word of God. You know, we can't, we, we can't, we can't go wrong. And when you learn from the Word of God, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. Amen. So there's no new thing. Everything in the, in, in the, in the, in the Bible mm -hmm. is all we need. Mm -hmm. There's no new thing. That's it. He didn't forget anything. No, Somebody's no. telling you, hey, there's a new way. Mm -hmm. There's a new thing. Mm -hmm. Forget it. <laughs> if it's not in here, That's forget it. it. <laughs> Amen. Go with what the Word of God says, not yes. what people are yes. saying. Right. Amen. So be careful. Yes. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> In his word, God has given us the law of the spirit of life that will direct and help develop a winning attitude that gives makes us winners. Your choice is whether or not you will develop that winning attitude. That's right. Amen. Help me, Lord. I need this attitude. I need the right attitude. Amen. Attitude affects and determines your altitude. Yes, it does. Your altitude will affect your altitude. Soaring with the eagles or wallowing with the pigs, scratching with the chickens. Your attitude sets the pace for your success. That's it. What do you think about this situation on a daily basis? Do you think winning or losing? Yeah. Victory or defeat? Huh. What do you think about? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you thinking about winning or are you thinking about losing? You know, God didn't create you to lose. He yeah, created right. you That's to right. win. Yeah, when you start seeing yourself the way he sees you. Yes. Amen. That makes a big difference. Yes, he, see, yes. he sees you a winner. Yes. He sees you a champion. Yes. And you start confessing what the Word of God says. Yes. No matter what people say. Yes. No matter yes. what yes. family yes. says. Yes. Sometimes you got to stand just me and God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> just yes. me and God. You know, the crowd may be many. But you know what? I'm by myself. Yes. But God is with Amen. me. He says He never right. leaves you nor forsakes you. Right. And He's with you. Right. No matter what. You know, when... Uh, they threw Daniel in the lion's den. He wasn't by himself. No. When they threw the, the, the three children of Israel, the three Hebrew children in the fire, uh -huh. they weren't by themselves. No, they, <laughs> they said, we threw three in there, but we see four. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it amazing God let them see? <laughs> I said, we threw three in there, and there's four of them in there. How, how did that happen? I said, praise God. If that don't turn you, I don't uh -huh. know what will. You know, yeah. but still. <laughs> praise God. Yes. He is with us. Yes, he is. Amen. So, yes. whoo! Praise God. Do you think winning or losing? That's up to you. God's word says you can overcome any situation. Yes, yes. But you don't understand my situation. Mm -hmm. You don't understand what giants I face every day. Mm -hmm. No, but God does. Yes, yeah. he does. And he, you know what he says? He says, I already defeated the enemy. Mm -hmm. You're fighting a defeated enemy. Yes, yes. The devil is defeated. Yes, he is. Amen. He says, you have to get the word in you and start speaking the word yes. and speak to that defeated devil. Yes. He says, submit yourself yes. to God, resist, resist the devil, the devil. and he yes. will flee. Yes. Amen. You know what flee means? Uh -huh. Flee don't mean that he'll just run in terror. Tap, you know, tap away, you know. Mm -hmm. Flee means he's going to run away. Yeah. Wow. This child of God has woke up. Yeah. Hallelujah. You woke up a giant. Yeah. I want to be a giant for God. Amen. Amen. So Amen. can you. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. You, Woo, your part is to see that the promise comes to pass. Amen. Amen. You're to adjust, to renew your thinking to agree with Him. Amen. Renew your thinking. Renew your minds with yes. the Word of God. No matter what the world says, uh -huh. no matter what people are saying. That's right. You know, people are going to try to, enemy is going to try to drag you, discourage you. <laughs> And be a distraction for you. Mm -hmm. He comes to do what? Steal, steal kill, kill, and destroy. You know what he uses? He uses people. Yeah. <laughs> God uses people. But if they're not for God, the enemy's got them. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got enemy's going to use them to try to draw you. Say, hey, yeah. remember, we was doing this before, <laughs> and we can do it again. Uh -huh. No, we can't. <laughs> no. I've changed. They Amen. haven't changed. Yeah. Okay, I've changed, and God's changing your company. And if yeah. He's changed your company, don't go back running back right. to them. Right. Right. Amen. You want to be a new thing? Mm -hmm. Good. Then He's going to change things. Okay. Yeah. I told you this so many times. I asked the Lord to help me with with the with the friends or the, with the enemies, and I started losing friends. <laughs> Amen. Say, Lord, you to take these enemies from me, and I started losing friends. Say, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some so-called friends are not friends. Right. So be, be careful. Amen. Yes. Yes. Adjust your thinking with what God has said will set the course and 
success or, or failure, winning or losing, that's your choice, amen? Yeah. But the choice is yours. You can develop an attitude of victory or defeat. Winning yeah. attitude releases the power of God. Yes, Amen. You want the power of God? Well, you know, it works for so-and-so, but it won't work for me. Mm. Why are we always saying those things? Mm. You know, hey, it worked for so-and-so, it won't yeah. work for me. It worked for you too. Yeah, it worked for you too. Mm -hmm. Why? Because he died for you too. Yes. And he's, hope, he, he, he's, he's called you. Yes. Amen. He's called you. And if he's called you, you've got the power of God. Yes. Right. You just got to be able to use it and release it. Amen. Amen. And speak it. But you got to get it in you. And you got to be bold enough. To, to do it. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. He has, you know who his favorite person is? You. Yeah. Don't say, well, you know, brother so and so, or sister so and so, man, they know it all. God uses them all, you know, mm -hmm. because they make themselves available. Yes, they we do. need to make ourselves available. Yes. Lord, use me. Yes. Amen. Yeah, we, we, we have to speak. We yeah. have to have relationship. Yes. Amen. When we have relationship, we get to know each other better and better. Yeah. By the way, uh, happy anniversary. You know? <laughs> and, ha and, and happy St. Valentine's Day. <laughs> but still, you know, you celebrate anniversaries. I just wish you number 15. Happy anniversary, all right. Yeah, and you know what? The closer they get, the closer they get to know each other. Wow, because relationship. Yeah. Amen, we get to know each other. We need to know our God that yeah. close. And we get to know Him and do what he's asked us to do amen? amen so success and failure begins with attitude yeah amen attitude and behaviors to avoid oh, well we talked about that we're not going to go there but there's behaviors and attitudes that we need to avoid amen yes. and and uh, failure does not begin with, uh failure does not begin when what you have done has not succeeded failure begins when i say i quit mm -hmm. that's when it's I say, well, I, I just give up. Somebody told you, God can't use you anymore. Mm. I failed. And now somebody told you, God can't use you anymore. Mm. So you just got to sit on the side. Mm. For how long? Yeah. For life? No. Mm -hmm. You got to get close to Him. When you know Him, you know, it's time for you. You know how many times? You know how Peter failed Him three times? Mm -hmm. And Jesus didn't put Him aside and say, I, I'm not going to use you anymore. He used Peter to preach two of the greatest sermons, mm -hmm. messages, and people, thousands came to God. Yes. Thousands gave their soul to God. Amen. But he used Peter, and Peter says he denied him three times, mm -hmm. and God still used him. Mm -hmm. And when you know this, and you failed, all you need to do is get right with God. Some of you, this is for somebody now. Mm -hmm. You failed. That's okay. But you know what you do is you repent. Yeah. Lord, I've sinned against you. Yeah. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He'll take you and he'll put his arms around you and says, you know, hey, I love you. And it's time to go do what I've called you to do. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And he, yeah. somebody needed that. So yeah. it's time for you to wake up. It's yeah. time for you to get ready. Right. Yeah. Because God yeah. wants to use Lord. you. And you know what? He's got great plans for you. Yes, he does. And That's none of them include their feet. feet. That's right. None of them include their feet. So praise God, it's time to get up and, and get going. Yeah. So you know when you fail, when you say, I quit. Mm -hmm. Don't say that. That's right. Know that you're a winner. Know that you're a champion for Jesus. Yeah. When you think like that, you cannot be defeated by the devil or by anybody. That's right. Amen. Never. Keep going, Carmen, over here. Let's see what else we got coming. <laughs> Ability is what you are capable of doing. Motivation determines what you do and attitude determines how well you do it oh, <laughs> you know hey you can do it well or you can do it bad but mm -hmm. you have the attitude yeah you know it's snowing outside so i'm gonna have a bad attitude <laughs> 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 no this is the day the lord has made amen yeah. let it snow let it rain yeah. let the sun come yeah. it doesn't matter I will rejoice Amen. and be glad in it. Right. Okay? I have decided already. My attitude is I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. And we need to do this on a daily basis. Yes, we do. Amen. And don't let circumstances, don't let whatever uh, hold us back. Attitudes hold us back. I'm going to have bad attitude. You know what? Oh man, today's Monday. I'm going to have bad attitude. 
So some of us speak it out, you know, yeah. and we say it. I've got a bad attitude. <laughs> I've got an attitude. See, I didn't put no bad attitude on there. It's just an attitude. <laughs> yeah. But it's I've got a good attitude. Amen. So beware also of dream busters. Mm -hmm. We're talking about family, friends, co-workers. Yes. We must continue to press on until the promise of God becomes reality. Don't let the devil, anyone, or yourself stop you. Amen. Don't let nobody defeat you. Amen. Praise God. Keep going, Carmen. Your attitude determines your actions, and your actions determine your accomplishments. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, you know, so and so is always getting promoted, and so and so is. Well, you know, I noticed something about so and so. They always have a good attitude, and they're always doing what they're told. And I have a bad attitude, and my attitude, my bad attitude, my words, my actions, always keeping me back. You know, and I can never do this. I can never do that. And I'm speaking the the wrong, and I'm saying the wrong things. So I need to start mm -hmm. saying the right things. Right. Yeah. And I start pleasing Him. Right. You know, He's He's happy. And guess what? Yeah. Blessings will come. Promotion yes. comes. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. People will label you a failure if you accept it. Uh -huh. People will label you anything they want to label you yeah. if you receive it. Say, right. okay, you're talking about the wrong person. And you know, even if you, after you've given yourself to Christ mm -hmm. and you've ha been born again, they still see the same person. Yeah. But I had a spiritual birth yes. in the spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I had a spiritual birth yeah. and they can't see in the spirit. That's right. And they can't see in, in the soul. But they can still see my physical body and they see the same person. Yeah. But inside I've changed. I've changed from the yeah. inside out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And guess what? When they come and, and label me whatever, mm -hmm. I say, uh-uh. That's right. You're talking about the old person. Right, right. That was Jose way back. I'm, I'm a new Jose. Amen. 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 <laughs> I'm a Jose B. <laughs> Be a can-do person. Amen. Hi, really, I'm a can-do person. Thank you, Lord. Your attitude is like a price tag. It shows how valuable you are. Yes. You know, you can make yourself as valuable as you want to mm -hmm. by saying the right things. Yes. Or you can make yourself as bad as you want to. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I, I'm not cheap. I'm a child of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So praise God. But yeah. it's all about your attitude. I mean, attitude yeah. means a whole lot. Yes, it does. It's not just a tiny little thing. It's a big thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. It makes a big difference. Amen. Yes, it does. Hallelujah. Keep going, Carmen. Thank you, Lord. The only difference between a good and a bad day is what? Mm -hmm. Attitude. We talked that about a few minutes ago. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made, and I will rejoice. Yes. And be glad in it. I will rejoice and have a good attitude yeah, about it. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Why? Yeah. Because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Yes. No matter what is going out, I'm having a good attitude yes. no matter what. I've told you this many times, but Paul <laughs> had a bad attitude. He was going around killing Christians. Yeah. <laughs> and God says, I need to give you, uh, I, I need to get, uh, uh, give you a change of attitude here. Mm -hmm. Amen. You need to have, get a new renewal mm -hmm. and knock them off his horse. Yes, he did. Amen. And guess what? After that, Paul yeah. ch even changed his name. Yeah. He got a new attitude. He got a, a new name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you know what? He spent a lot of his time in, in prison. But still had a good attitude about yes, it. Yeah. Amen. Right. He didn't have a bad attitude about it. Paul and Silas got beat so bad. But they still had a good attitude. And, and they sang Amen. unto God. Praise they Lord. praised and worshipped God yes. in, the middle, in the midnight hour. Yes. Right. Instead of complaining about right. their aches and pains. Oh, <laughs> yes. they, they, they praised the Lord. Yes, and, yes. and God heard them. Yes. So what about us? We need to do the same thing. Yes. You mean, some of us haven't even gone through some of the things they went through. That's right. And we're still complaining. Mm. Don't become a chronic complainer. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Don't become a chronic uh, uh, bad attitude person. No, no. 
but have a good attitude. Give me one more. <laughs> and we'll close. <laughs> Excellence is not a skill. That's good. It's an attitude. <laughs> I tell you what, I'll close with this. <laughs> I thank mom and dad for the upbringing. <laughs> they they, they uh, changed our attitude quickly. Oh, yeah. You know, That's by laying on their hands, you know. <laughs> They learn how to lay hands. <laughs> the Bible says, <laughs> raise up a child the way he should go, and when they're old, they won't depart from it. also says, you know, not to spare the rod. And mom and dad knew how to lay hands real good. <laughs> and we had, we, had, we had some attitude adjustments. <laughs> and, and, and I'm still here. Not only that, I continued that with the military. And the military taught me well. And uh, so... You know, all of us need an attitude adjustment. Every time when you wake up, before you go anywhere, uh -huh. have an attitude adjustment yeah, and yes. make sure you choose good and yes. not bad. Yes. Amen? Yes. So praise, praise God. God. Amen. Amen. But remember that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So we can have a good attitude, yes. especially when you know you're a child of God yeah. and you're in a winning team yeah. and you can do all things through Him. All things. You shouldn't have a bad attitude. Yes. Amen. Right. Just put it in God's hands. So praise Amen. God. Thank you, Father, for your precious word. Yes, and we're not finished yet, but uh, just thank God for your precious word, Lord. Help it to grow in us, Lord, and do what you call us to do, Father God. And we thank you that we will continue to have a good attitude in you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Some of you watching, some of you listening, if this is your first time, if you've never asked him, now is the time, you know. Before we close, just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. You know, come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He won't turn anyone down. That's right. Just come to Him. And He's got a uh, plan for you. He's got plans for you. You know, That's instead right. of you going up to Him and saying, Lord, I've got all these plans. All you have to do is bless Him. He uh -huh. says, I've got plans for you mm -hmm. that are already blessed. Yeah. So why don't you take my plans Amen. and go with Him? And if you go with His plans, guess what? You're going to be a winner. Amen. So, Praise God, do that. And if you out there and you're hurting, you have somebody, some, 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 some hurt in your body, or you're not well, you know, just touch that part of your body, wherever, you know, yeah. if you got a headache, whatever it is, you know. Yeah. Lord Jesus, the Bible says that by Jesus stripes you're healed. Amen. So if the Word of God says it, I'm going to say it. Yeah. And I'm going to receive yeah. it. Yeah. So body line up with the Word of God yeah. and receive yeah. the he your healing. Right. Whatever it is that you need. Yeah. We call it well. We call it healed. Call it healed right now in Jesus' yeah. name. So praise God. Amen. Yeah. I'm yeah. excited. I'm going to have a good attitude about it. Yeah. And it's time to give. <laughs> so those of you that are watching listening. If you still want to give, just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. If you go to mail, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Uh, and we also want to say thank you, God bless you, and happy Valentine's Day. God bless you. <laughs>